good morning so you were looking at what is called a lightning pattern hay knife we've had this actually for as long as I can remember I don't remember it ever being used you can see it's in pretty good shape both the wood handles are intact no real dents or dings so I can't imagine that my father ever really used it I don't remember him ever using it it probably was just a decoration but I have a need for it so I remembered it was there uh, down at the farmhouse I went down this morning got it sharpen it up a little bit it's actually pretty darn sharp right now about as sharp as you'd want a blade this size I'm not exactly sure but I think the way it's designed it cuts on the push stroke so why do we need this let me go show you so this is why we need it we're in the chicken run and a neighbor gave me this rotten round bale oh, a couple of months ago and typically the chickens will pick through something like this really quickly though it's hard to believe if I can get this spread out by this time next year there'll be no sign at all that this bale was ever in the run as big as this is and as heavy as it is they will work their way through it but this is going to be a experiment I don't know how the knife works I don't know if it will work but there's only one way to find out and that's get up on top of this bale or push it over maybe uh, and see what we can do can't be part of this, Mousy. See if we can peel some of this off now. Unfortunately, somewhere the kitten, oh, there she is. Hey, you chasing mice in there or something? All right, I'll hop back up on top. That seemed to be the best way to cut. rest of this the chicken should be able to pull apart on their own as you can see we took what was a cohesive bale and pretty much destroyed it open it all up I'd say that took oh, a total of 15 or 20 minutes and it would have taken a lot longer trying to just unroll it so my assessment of this I guess first and foremost 
this is I can tell the kind of tool it would take practice if I could see a someone a hundred years ago put it to use I think I'd have a much better sense of how fast they were moving it what angle they were moving it so I have no doubt that this was uh, designed with a loose pile of hay in mind not with a modern tightly wound hay bale so it worked for this job but the way we make and store hay is much different than it was during the period when the tool was produced so enjoy it guys if i remember this time next year we will revisit this pile of hay and see if there's any sign of it left i hope you enjoyed this video definitely one of the best workouts i've had all week so thanks for watching hope you all have a great week we'll see you soon